Good morning from Washington. It's gonna be an exciting week here. We're in Washington mostly for work trip, but part of it is also just for leisure too. So this week, while Steven's at work, I have the time to explore Washington and basically solo film slash travel. It's a little bit nerve wracking because I do have some anxiety kind of being by myself in public. But nonetheless, I think it will be a fun week for me to just get to know Washington a little better. Last year I went to Washington and I also made a little travel vlog so I'm hoping to hit places where I haven't hit before. So let's get some lunch first. I'm planning on getting ramen maybe at the Bellevue Square but we'll see. Let's go. All right we made it into the Bellevue Square mall and then this is the ramen shop right here. Let's try this one. I think I'm going to try their garlic ramen. We finally made it into Shahuli Garden and Glass, which is next to the Space Needle. I have to go buy tickets. Haven't bought tickets yet. Just want general admission this time. So it's 39.38. Let's go in. Okay, this Persian ceiling is the very iconic one that a lot of hotels replicate. Milly flory, thousands of flowers. This is so cool. If you look down at the reflection, it's basically the chandelier in reverse, huh? Pretty cool. We're going to the famous iconic glass house now. Time to go to the garden. So one side is black and then the other side right here is purple. Put it together and you have glass. And you make it turns into a liquid. 
Imagine the sand turns into a liquid, and then you stick a pipe in there and gather it up like honey. So I'm done with the Chihuly Gardens. At the very end, when they had the documentary talking about how Dale Chihuly did his glass blowing and how he went to different parts of the world to make these exhibits for these countries. I was just so mind blown that you can actually make art from these type of things. I don't know, I, I thought that was really interesting. The exhibit itself was really pretty. Just the colors. My favorite was probably the Persian and the chandeliers. I thought those were very beautiful, very iconic. That's pretty much the end of today's vlog at Chafuli. If you walk outside, there's actually like a beautiful garden area where you can walk. So there have some statues and sculptures here too so there's this really big red sculpture and then i think they have like a little garden area over there so it's very green and naturey and then of course you can't forget it's next to the space needle right here and that's the monorail that i'm going to take So this is the Seattle monorail station. Super convenient. We'll just hop on and off with your Orca card. Good morning. This is day two of Washington vlog. Today, we're gonna go get Korean tofu soup first because the weather has been really cold. <laughs> it's kind of drizzling and it's already June, but that's pretty much Pacific Northwest weather. So we're gonna go get tofu soup. And then if weather permits, I'm thinking of visiting the Woodlands Zoo and Park. I don't know, I've always really liked animals. I like going to zoos. So I like checking out zoos whenever I go and travel to different places. Okay, let's go get some food first. Got dropped off. It's near University of Washington. So here's the front of the store. The Bob. I've been craving Korean tofu soup. So yeah, I got the soft tofu soup with beef and then there are self-ordering kiosks. It's a pretty like hip modern Korean restaurant. All right, guys, beef tofu soup, rice. Guess I must have ordered an extra rice because I didn't know that it came with rice. All right, after a hearty lunch, we made it into the Woodland Park Zoo. We made it into the entrance. I haven't purchased tickets yet, so let's purchase them. I'm glad it kind of stopped raining for a little bit, but this is the entrance of the zoo. There's a lot to look at. First stop, African Savannah. We see the zebras over there grazing. So the ostrich should be here. No, not here. Maybe all the animals went and hid because it was basically raining before I came here. So maybe all of them went under shelter. So none of the animals are out and about in the fields right now. I don't know. That would be sad though. It, we didn't see any animals because they're all hidden. Ooh, this is the Savannah Avery where the birds are. Let's go in. Oh my god, do you see it? Uh, don't go away. <laughs> the simple foot's so big. It's like bigger than my hand, huh? Who runs faster, a giraffe or a pata's monkey? I'm gonna pick the monkey because I feel giraffes can be very slow. Let's see. It's a close race. Oh, darn it. <laughs> so the giraffes take the lead, reaching 37 miles per hour, but then the monkeys can run 34. All right, next, we're going to go to the Assam Rhino Reserve. This is the Asian brown tortoise, and it's considered an endangered species. Oh my god, at first, I thought that was a rock and I didn't realize I was camouflaged in the mud until it moved its ears.
Look at the little orangutan eating its grass or an onion. They're actually really smart from what I've heard. We're gonna head into the Living Northwest Trail. So the Canadian lynx and the wolves were not there. The snowy owl could not be found, but we were able to find the brown bear. It's sleeping. Sleepy bear. Wow, that's the sea eagle. So windy here, and I feel so immersed in nature. <sighs> We're visiting the Australasia now. There's more kangaroos, and there's an emu, emu bird. Heading into the Banyan Wilds now. That's the Asian small clawed otter. Alright, let's go to the temperate rainforest. Little peacock. Hi, chicken. How many eggs do you think is in this basket? I think 50. 180. Wow. This is the conservation aviary. Free roaming birds. You are not afraid of people. Huh? Trumpeter swan. Oh, so beautiful. It's a poodle. Oh my god, you see the baby one too. All right, I just finished walking around the zoo. It was a very peaceful and quiet zoo. I think it's also partially because I went on a Tuesday. So a lot of the shows and exhibits were not open, they were closed. So it was very peaceful and very quiet, not a lot of people. I would say my favorite section of the zoo would probably be the butterflies. I know I go to the zoo to see animals, but the butterflies were really Really beautiful, really pretty. I'm just gonna head back to our hotel, maybe freshen up a little bit. But today for dinner, we're gonna see a lot of our friends. So I'm really excited to see them and then we're gonna have Chinese food. Let's get back to the hotel first. We're gonna go grab dinner with our friends now at some Chinese restaurant. Let's go. We're excited to try some Chinese food. Hell yeah. 